everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, since making his UFC debut in 2011, there has been no more reliable fighter on the roster than the always active Donald Cowboy Cerrone. When he retires, in all likelihood, he'll be the UFC's leader and wins. It's one thing to make the walk. It's another thing to continue to win fights the way Cerrone has done. Donald Cowboy Cerrone, no surprise, back at it again tonight. Donald Cerrone is a well-rounded fighter with great submissions and great more time. He's extremely difficult to finish, a lot of hard, great chin, and he fights very well in the later rounds. Training at the American Kickboxing Academy under Javier Mendez and of course under the leadership of his father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Here is Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is not a man you want on top of you. This is not a man you want to get punched in the face by. Plus skills in all areas of mixed martial arts for the Dagestan Russian born Khabib the Eagle Nurmagomedov who is putting together one of the greatest legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Nurmagomedov is 29. Cerrone is 34. He is three inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. It's a This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And now he brings his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record on. 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been... Oh! on the ground here, constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Cerrone's worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. And now he's got that tight clinch choke. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. He's got the double. And now trying to take the back. Hey, 
Neither fighter's really doing anything. Just over three minutes to go round one. Yeah, the referee's gonna separate him. Zeroni gets caught by the inside leg kick. Just misses there with the left. And here he is back in familiar territory in the catch. Slago Madoff gets the tie punch here. That knee might have landed there. Oh, he's got the over-under. We'll see what he can do with it. Takedown defense holds up. Nurmago Medov's got the double underhooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. One minute. And potentially a critical takedown here. That landed. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he connects there. 15 seconds to go. He's got a choke here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. Second round here. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Habib Nurmagomedov is one of the best grapplers in MMA. He has knockout power in his strikes, and his big skill is being able to take guys down and maul them on the ground. It's in. He's deep. He's going to clasp the hands together. Crack. Excellent movement here on the ground. Side control. Looking for the Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. It looks like he's got that Kimura locked up tight. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. He's got it cranked. He set it up, it was beautiful technique, and he was forced to tap. Beautiful submission. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And here we can see it again. Beautiful technique here on this Kimura. Perfectly applied for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission.
So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Khabib the Eagle. So nearly 30 men have tried and as yet no one has solved the puzzle that is the Dagestan. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. One of the best lightweights in the world.